Isn't that awesome, dude? That's fantastic. Look at that. That's a beauty. Let's have a brand new video today. We're going on a metal detecting adventure with my buddy Herb and my buddy Lance. I guess there was an old log cabin here at one time, so there's going to be a lot of iron in here. But they found some Civil War stuff and some old stuff, so I'm pretty stoked that we'll find a few things. I got a little coin down there. See it? <laughs> Actually, it's a dime. Now, what is it? Yeah, it's modern. This is a modern dime. It's not silver because it wouldn't be that color, I don't think. So. When I say modern, I mean it's not a silver dime. We'll get a date off of that in a little bit and take a look at it. But nice high signal. Other people have detected here. Already found some good stuff, so I'm still very hopeful. Let's cover this back up again. There you go. Just dug what I think may be a fired Civil War bullet or a part of one. And we talked to uh, someone who detected out here decades ago. And they were, uh, she actually was telling us that they found some Civil War stuff in this field right here. So we thought we'd give this a shot. We have some other places we're going to go in a little bit. I'm pretty sure that's going to be part of a fired Civil War bullet. It's got the right patina, right look to it. Um, not heavy enough for a whole bullet. But I think once we clean it off, we'll know for sure. We've already been up around the house a little bit. So you might see one or two clips from there. Uh, but it's more modern, the stuff up there, even though it's supposed to be an old house. We're going to stick to the fields for now on. Oh, cool. I think it's a skull, man. It's a skull. Can I see it? Man, it's really flat, isn't it? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Find a cave? Maybe. A wee cave. A wee cave. Can I get in it? Oi, look at that. Full of leaves? Yeah. Yeah, that's too bad. I've got about three feet, so that's the leaves. Probably get a little flashlight on there for you. Alright, there, there. And it goes down. I don't think we'll ever get in that one, though. Not without a little extra work. So we moved to a new location, caught out in a pasture field. Um, Really windy, hope it doesn't bother you. I dug a signal, my very first signal here. Lance, and it's a good one. I think, I think you're gonna be jealous on this one. Check it out, man. First signal. I haven't looked at it yet, but I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Looky. Oh, how nice. Look at it. Yeah, pick it up. You wanna pick it up first? You'll be first person to touch that in quite a few years. That was a screamer, it was only down like an inch. Flip it over. And look under the head. What's it say? Well, okay, you're it's in the it's very bottom. And it's rubber a little bit. Yeah, 1786. 1786. Isn't that awesome, dude? That's fantastic. Look at that. That's a beauty. What do you think? Well That's done. nice, isn't it? Well done. Yeah. Take, get out of it. Look. Nice. Oh, look, it might be all right over here. the place. Yep. I'll move off to the side. Please do, yeah. Look at that. He's like, please do, move off yeah. to the side. Please do, let's find more of these. 1786. So you said I got you in a fine mess. Another Come all this cow pooey and stuff. Check us out. First signal. Oh. You're not worried now, are you, about the cow, uh. cow poo? <laughs> it is a mess out here, though. You gotta be careful, though, it's because you go. <laughs> <laughs> so what did, awesome, what did you say? 17 what? 1786. Oh, Spanish man. coin. Right We're there. It, right there, man. Right We're there. Right. One, one inch deep. Thing was screaming. Awesome. <laughs> this is probably wishful thinking, but I got a nice squeaker right here. And some iron in there, but I think the signal's actually right over here. It's awfully big, though, isn't it? Big area, more like a can than a big old silver coin. We're only about 15 feet away from where I found the other one. All right, here we go. Oh no, looky, it's iron. That's old iron though, isn't it? Look at that. It's like melted right there or something. That's a old, that's almost looks like some sort of tool. I'm not sure what it is though. 
Oh well, not a coin. Maybe we better check that hole though. I have no idea what this is. Okay, okay. there you go. I can't tell if it's sil it looks like silver, but I can't tell with the gloves on about the weight. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> it's pretty heavy. That's weird. What you got? A oh, treasure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yep. Piece of. I might be getting close. It might be what held the uh, trunk together that has all the coins in it. So we looked all around where I found that coin, and we really didn't find much else. So it was kind of like just a single coin there. We're moved over to the next field that is nice and soft. Lots of iron out here, so I'm hopeful. I have a piece of brass here that I just dug up. I haven't looked at it. I don't think it's going to be very old, but it was definitely a great signal. In fact, I don't really have an idea what it is. Yeah, I suspect that's not going to be... That's a bushing, probably, I guess. Off like a little axley thingy. It's old, but I don't think it's going to date to the Civil War. It looks like a giant fuse, doesn't it? But it isn't. Uh, we're going to keep looking around out here in this field a little bit. That's, uh, I guess, Herb's over there. And uh, I think Lance is still up on the hill somewhere with the cows. Hopefully we can find a little spot out here in the field where we can start to get into some good stuff. It's like a couple hundred more acres to check. <laughs> so we're not going to get to it all today. So I'm all the way at the end of the field that I was in just a minute ago when I found that little brassy thing. I just want to show you these rocks. These are all limestone rocks that they pulled out of the field over the years. Just kind of piled up here, but aren't they beautiful? I just love them. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's some big holes in that one. I'm checking all the rock breaks out, looking for sinkholes and caves. We're not giving up yet, I promise you. We've got a lot more field to go. I don't know if they're coming out here or not. I came straight up from where they're at, and what I'm going to do now is kind of just kind of loop back down around. There's another little spot on the farm where we have found a few things. We might just end up going there. Uh, just so we can find a couple bullets before the day's out. I'm about halfway back to where the boys are, and I got a little signal right here and already dug it up. And I see it's a coin, a small penny, but it looks pretty thick. So I'm hoping it's an oldie, but a goodie. Oh, that's why I hate wearing gloves. Yeah, it's a nice Indian head penny for sure. Hey, <laughs> it just lost it. Um, but what I'm going to have to do is uh, take my gloves off at some point and clean it up a little bit, and we'll get a little close up of it. What do you say? Just not yet. I think it's going to be in pretty good shape, too. All right, we'll look around here a little bit, and then we'll head up toward the boys who are still up in the pasture. They didn't cross the fence for some reason. Now, this is kind of an interesting little find, and it gives me some hope as far as a potential Civil War camp being nearby. And I think there is one nearby, according to the owner. What do you think? It looks almost like a saw blade, doesn't it? But you know what? I don't think it is. Actually, it's, it's uh, like copper. It's made out of copper. So take a guess on that, and I'll uh, tell you what I think it is before the video is over. Them bones, them bones, them dry bones. I think he dieted. Poor old cow. Look like they uh, composted him almost, doesn't it? That's his pelvis. Wow. <laughs> well, that's more than one in here. Poor dude. Man, that's a heck of a rib bone, isn't it? Jeez. What a beast. Look at that. That thing's huge. Oh, well. He's dry now. Okay, she's dry now. You got something interesting? Well, I got a chunk of lead. Oh, okay. So, Lead's always looks like good. It, looks like it could be... A firing round of some sort, I'm not sure exactly. Well, let's see, that's well, I found this also. I don't what you got? This chunk of metal, I have that, no idea what. I'm not sure about that. What that's even from. It was, just, it was there. It's almost, yeah, not sure about that one. <laughs> I don't know if that's lead or pewter or something. Of course, by a bunch of copper pewter. Wow, pewter'd. yeah, I'd say. Yeah, if I can, there it is. What you All right, let's take a look at that. It's like ridges on it on the one side of it there. Yeah, I'd say that's definitely a fired bullet, but I don't know if it's going to be a Civil War bullet. Yeah, it's not, that was me. It's, like, it's, eh. it's, you know, it is possible. We moved once again into another field, back into a pasture field, and the guy should be behind me just a little bit. I don't see them yet, but 
I have a Civil War bullet. I think it might be a big old 69er. What do you say? Is it? It is. That's a big old 69 caliber Civil War bullet. I think that black stuff is probably the gunpowder. <laughs> That's what it is. That's the gunpowder in the base. See, the thing is, with this bullet, um, it was dropped, and it would have had tied onto the base a paper cartridge full of gunpowder. And the gunpowder would have been up in, inside there, and the paper cartridge wrapped around. So when they lost this, they lost it with the paper cartridge, it rotted away, and the gunpowder is in the soil. Now you can't see it, but that was protected on the inside of the cone of the bullet. Now, if we dried that out and mashed it up nice and fine, it might still burn. In fact, we might go ahead and try that a little bit later. It's a big old 69 caliber mini ball. Nice. Yeah, here they come. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll try not to dig them all before they get here. Well, it's been one step and I have another mini ball. I think it's a mini ball anyway. Um, Maybe I better wait for the boys. That's where I just dug the 69er, took a step, got another signal by the rock. And I think that's a bullet right there. What do you think, huh? Yeah, it is. Now look how much smaller this one is. This is a Williams cleaner. It'd be approximately 58 caliber. Look how, how much smaller that is than that 69er. Let me get that 69er and I'll, show, I'll compare them for you. I'll have to do that in a little bit because it's in the bottom of the bag and my bag is completely chock full of junk. As you can see, there's lots of cans and stuff in there, so we'll have to wait on that. Well, the boys still haven't made it, but they're getting closer and I think I have another bullet. This one was actually really deep and uh, I heard a squeak over here. So, uh, yeah, right there. I bet that's a bullet right there. What do you think? Wow! It's another big old 69 caliber mini ball. <laughs> see if it's got the powder in the back still, I don't know. I don't see any, but yeah, big old 69 caliber. Look at that bad boy. It's nice. I see some movement in the bushes over there, so they're getting close. I see. Mine is a little more modern. Oh yeah, I'd say. That's a modern dime. Yeah. There's like Uzu out there. Yeah. Oh well. Well, it's good that you found it. Hey, dude. I've been here for just a couple minutes. Got three mini balls. Three. Two 69 caliber mini Ooh. balls. Nice ones. Right here. Oh. Right there. I think it's worth checking out. Is uh, Lance around? He's yeah, I thought he was behind me. I thought he was between me and you. He's over here somewhere. You see, he knows to come back here, doesn't he? Uh -huh. Okay, good. Yeah, he's just... Big point, there's two. All right, excellent. Yeah, I, I think it's definitely worth checking here. Awesome. Yeah. A nice. Yeah. What we want. <laughs> Try to sneak a smile at the camera. I'm so happy I found something. Well, I can't complain. I found this couple of nice coins. Yeah. But it's nice to, uh, nice to get at least more than one target in a 100-acre field, which we're going to do right now. You, you're going to dig a block split today, aren't you? Yeah. I think you might. Right I here. To. Right here. Until I do. <laughs> yeah, I it might be a long month. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's about where I was finding the mini balls right in there, and I got another uh, decent signal. It's it there, out of the ground. So I thought we'd look at this one together. Sounds a little smaller, but I hate doing this with gloves on. It takes forever. <laughs> Let's take, oh, the yeah, ass in here. All right, it's in here. All right, I, you see it? Not in there, that's a good sign, because it wouldn't be a mini ball. Oh, it's up here somewhere. I'm not seeing it though. I don't know, it sounds like a pretty good squeak maybe. Okay, it's in he here. <laughs> there it is, looky. <laughs> well, this is not a mini ball, it is a round ball. All right, I'm cleaning it off a little bit so you can see it. All right, that's a musket ball from the American Civil War. God, it feels like a marble. Got those thick gloves on though. It's really hard to feel the weight, but yeah, musket ball, sweet. I'm not gonna say anything. I don't want them to get mad at me. <laughs> Same area. I think I might have another one. I'm gonna let you listen to this one. 
See, it's getting a pretty, yeah, that's gotta be a bullet. It's not giving me a consistent number, because I think it's deep, but you get a nice little squeaker on her. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a bullet. Let's dig it together, what do you say? Be pretty close, right here. There we go. Hopefully it's right about here. I'm just gonna break it off. A lot of times you can just look down and see it, but it's not the case this time. No, missed it, it's deeper. Still in the hole, a little bit deeper. All right, I'm gonna take one more for good measure on this side. So we're down good ways now. That didn't get it. <gasps> I see it, it's a mini ball. We're just way down deep, lucky. It's another big old 69er. Is. All right, Mr. Herb digs one just like that soon. I think it's in, that's where I just dug a 69er. I think there's another one right beside it. So I'm going to set you up so you can watch. All right, right there. I'm going to do a double dig again because it might be a deep one. I got the last one. There we go. So we can see. Yep, it's out of the hole. I think it's in this cloud away over here. All right. Let's see, do you see it? Do ya? Listen, shh. <laughs> That's not in that one. Uh-oh. Oh no. I think it's still in the hole. I thought it was out, sorry about that. Trying to be smart, wasn't I? Ah, yeah, still in the hole. All right, let's take a close-up peek. What do you say? Okay. Right here. You know, maybe it was in, I bet it was in a loose dirt and it fell back in the hole. Because I thought I heard it when the loop went over it. Yeah, that's what happened. Let's see, do you see it in there? But that's it right there, look. Listen. It's another one. That's another 69er. Wow. Try not to be too loud. I don't want to. Look at that, that's a big old boy in it. It's a wheat. I was about a couple inches away from the other one, so there's probably more here, but not for long. Now, I didn't get you out for this one because it was just a really deep signal, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a bullet. Yeah, 60s or something like that right here. This was more of a test hole because it really didn't sound that great. It sounded more, more like iron. Um, didn't have any squeak whatsoever. That's the ground, I think, isn't it? All right. <laughs> I moved it back here, I guess. All right. I don't know. It's pretty small. <gasps> there it is. Looky. <laughs> I think I have tuberculosis. Yeah, one. Ah, yeah. Looky, another musket ball. That one's all chewed up. It's got lots of teeth mark on it. Teeth marks on it. Those are from animals. Um, people cannot make those teeth marks. They never ever put these in their mouths to chew on them for any reason whatsoever. Because if you tried to make those marks, you would break your teeth. And you know how I know that? Because I've actually tried to make marks on a mini ball, and it's impossible with our human teeth. Gonna have to be an animal like a pig or something to do that. Nothing me for a minute. What is it? I can't see it from here, but... Uh, it's a rusty old chain around them. A... Something, something. What you got? Ooh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I bet that gave a good yeah. signal. That could be war-related. I don't know what it is I for sure, but... i a couple things but... over here that looks... Yeah. I'm, I'm still old. digging bullets right here, man. Right. Feel free to jump in. And, you know, some of them are... They give them some squeak, but they're not, like, really good signals. In fact, that one was not a good signal, but it was really deep. Okay. So they're right. in here. Oh, in. man. Sweet. All right. This one sounded like a nail. It was really deep, and I just dug it just on a whim. You can see the hole. I only dug it because I'm digging a bunch of bullets right here. But it's another 69 caliber mini ball. 
here's what I did. I went ahead and I dug about half a dozen targets. I had not looked at them yet. I did see what one was though. Well, I think I know what it is. Let's start with it. Let's start with this one. Well, let me show you what I'm doing first. Beep when you hear is electric fence. Targets there. Down the hill, I got a target. A couple targets by my shovel. Target there. Let's start with this one. Oh yeah, we got a squeak going there, don't we? Let me set you up. Yeah, that'll make it a lot easier. Not there. I have to wear these gloves. <laughs> it's pretty small, whatever it is. What is it? <gasps> what is it? That, I don't know what it is. Looks like some type of, uh, it's brassy, it's got threads on it. It's a little lid off of something, probably. That could easily be Civil War era, but I just don't know. All right, we'll leave the hole open. Let's go to the next target. Next target. Okay, got several of them down here. Let's start with this one. Okay, we can see that one right there. I did see that. That is a shotgun shell, I'd say. Yep, that's the base to a shotgun shell. Leave that one open and come back to it. See this one? This had a little bit of a squeak to it, though, earlier, so I'm pretty sure it's, um... Yeah, I'm hopeful. Let me set you down. That's going to be something decent, too. Could be is that it? <laughs> that might be it right there. Look, shotgun gel, maybe. Or maybe not. Alright. I thought this was gonna be much quicker, but it isn't, is it? Yeah, I dropped it. Probably in the hole. Well, that was the camera. Alright, yeah, I dropped it in the hole. So in one of these. Dropped it again. Oh, another know this shotgun shell. We're not doing so good this way, are we? Alright, got three more holes. Uh, this one here. That sounds good. Well, not iron anyway, we know that. I'll get those holes filled in too, don't worry. Don't you worry none. Wow. It's not working very good, is it? All right, set it to the side. All right, fill out. It fell out, get the pinpoint out on this one. Ground balance it. I'm pretty sure that's all that was. All right, let's try this again. Oh, that's a camera. Dum dum. I have to move you. Got to move you a little bit. Sorry about that. Watch over here. Yeah. Ah, I see it. It's a it's a musket ball. I don't know how we missed that thing. I see it. It's another drop musket ball. Next hole is right beside this hole. Spin you around, straighten you up. Okay, I think it's, yeah, it's in here. That's what this one is. All right, shit, not that one. Ah, there it is, it's another musket ball. Look at that. Another, another musket ball from the American Civil War. We've got one more target to look at. Over by Herb. Oh, Phil was in. Well, it's a coin of some sort, but I can't tell if it's a modern penny or... Well, it's not a modern penny. It's an Indian head penny. I can't read the date, but it's probably from the camp. So I'd say it's probably 60s, 1860s. We'll get it cleaned up. I'll get a good picture of that. So, I think that's all the holes I had open. A couple shotgun shells, a couple bullets. We did pretty good. Got a bullet. Gold coin. Maybe you got the gold coin to go with this one. That's a nice little, uh... oh, it's just a penny. It's a penny. Ah. It's an Indian head penny. Oh, cool. <laughs> I didn't mean to give you a heart attack, man. <laughs> <laughs> or did I? A nice little squeaky thing in here. Don't know if it's a bullet. Ah, oh, shotgun gel. <laughs> oh, well, I can't complain. Oh, I got... the big nail. Oh, that's a big nail, yeah. From the old ranch, that was about Oh, that's cool. 
about eight inches or so down. Yeah, I, I, you know, it's not, you can actually find like gun wrenches, musket wrenches and stuff like that, yeah. but that's not one. That's pretty cool. <gasps> that is, oh, that's a sad one. That is a, what we call a modern um, slug to the a shotgun, shotgun, shotgun <laughs> slug, <laughs> shotgun slug, yeah, yeah unfortunately. Uh, but I tell you, we're digging, or I guess I'm digging, a lot of bullets right here. I've dug like a dozen, yeah. 69 calibers, and you know, some really cool stuff right. just right in this area. So I just jump in. Some of them are deep, you know, you don't really sound very good. And gotta go for it. Gotta go for it, man. I'm telling you, dig a deep signals in here, you'll get yourself some bullets for sure. Yeah. Hope we get one. All right. So did you sneak up on one? No, but I don't know if it's of the air, but. What do you think? What you got? Oh, oh, stirrup. It's really lightweight though, so I would think um, it's not war related. Small too. Yeah. Boy, it's tiny. <laughs> Little one, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I like the designs on it, you know, that the way it's shaped there on the sides. That's pretty classic. Cute. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, man. It's awesome. Oh, Hope Lance yeah. takes a bullet up there. Now we need bullets. Bullets. Yeah, we like bullets. These are all getting close together. Oh, right? yeah. The corner. Pull the corner together there. And... Maybe it was an ammunition chest full of gold coins. Yeah, it's, it's very deep. <laughs> that's right. You just got to get a little bit deeper. And that's part of the hinge to it right there. So. Yeah. That's why they would have had a lock on it right there, probably, huh? Maybe that's where the thing came through uh, for a lock. Yeah. Maybe. I'm yeah, telling you, man. A Bobby Dazzler. Dazzler. What's the Bobby Dazzler? That's new on me. Watch Oak Island. No. <laughs> that English guy on there, metal detector. Oh he's yeah. Only, he's the only one that finds stuff. <laughs> yeah, he's a We're good guy. We're digging holes 20 miles deep, and he's going bloop bloop. The gold ring. That's this right here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm digging holes and holes and holes. Oh man, you'll be on it. You're skimming the surface sand. Yeah. Look at this point. Yeah, you'll be on it, man. I think it's gonna be. Whole uh, thing full of gold coins right there next to you. I hope. Did you find something? What you got? Under a thorn bush. That's where. Dude, the awesome man! Look at that. It's a big old sixty nine er right there. That's a beauty too, isn't it? Yeah, drop. That is gorgeous. It's a heck of a chunk of lead, isn't it? It is. One of them I found has the black powder in the base, so. Before you completely pick it out, check and see. It's kind of neat, you know. Um, yeah. Congratulations. See, they're going, you're going to be all over the place over there now. Yeah. You'll be digging left and right. Under the thorn bushes. Nice. Congratulations. Hey, Just dug a really cool axe head, axe head. That has been a really, really <laughs> used heart. It looked like they, they bent it that way for a reason. I don't know how that could possibly have been done. I have no idea how they could have done that, but that's an old one that could easily date to the Civil War. The uh, fact that it's up against a tree like that tells me that maybe it was already dug and thrown up against a tree years ago, but that's a sweet one right there. That's a beautiful axe head. Let me get you out for this little target because there's some uh, nice pottery in the hole. And the target's in this thing here, so I know it's not a bullet. It sounds kind of small. Well, I, think, I don't think it's a bullet. It sounds small and brassy. I'm hoping maybe, with any luck, it's a little button. There it is, right there. What is it? What is, oh, what is it? <laughs> it's actually kind of cool, isn't it? That looks like, um, boy, I tell you, I think it just fell apart, whatever it was. Yeah, let me put this on my knee. You're gonna have to move you around a little bit. I think it's a piece of jewelry or something. Like, like a cuff link, I think that's what it is, isn't it? Yeah, there's the other piece. So, it, this is um, pretty sure. Is that something separate? That's pretty cool right there. I have to put that in a special little baggie. So, I don't know if that, I guess that was connected to this. Yeah, I can see where it broke off the back. So, I'm going to take my gloves off and we'll take a closer, uh, get, a, get a, a clean up a little bit and take a close up of it. I don't know if this is going to be Civil War era, but I guess it could be. I 
I can't really make out that design. I've never seen anything quite like it. But I'll give you a nice, I'll get, I'll, I'll clean it up at home and get you a good close up of it. What's that? Snake. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, that's a uh, a uh, thing halter thing. Goes on the side of the horse. I'd say it's part of post war. You know what I mean, halter? Yeah. Uh -huh. Random. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I nice bet they gave a good signal though, didn't it? Oh, beautiful signal. Yeah. 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 Neat little things. Yeah. I just need to get about a hundred years more age on it. Yeah. I'm going after the rest of the saddle. <laughs> it could be up there. All right, we're not too much longer, unfortunately. Sun's fading. That's Herb's base camp right there. Just dug up another big 69 caliber mini ball. <laughs> Barely a stone's throw for a rabbit. Very small rabbit. This might be a good lesson on checking your hole. That's, you know, the uh, stone's throw for a very small bunny rabbit. There's where I just dug the mini ball. I put the plug back and hadn't stomped it. But I ran over the hole just to make sure. And there's definitely another target in there. Pull the plug back. I don't think it's in the plug. Yeah, I better check it. Looks like a lot of uh, charcoal in there, doesn't it? No, it's not in the plug. Yep, still in there. There's another target. There we go. See more? Is that one? Yeah, there it is right there. Look. Dude, this is awesome. All right, what we have here, you see, is not what we would say a failure to communicate. What we have here is a Civil War era fire pit. Because you just dug that mini wall, and this one I have in my hand is a melted one. And that charcoal is probably Civil War era charcoal. So this might be a nice little trash pit. Tweet. Let's take a closer look at this clump. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, see, there's lots of charcoal in there. And I was thinking that might just be from where the farmer maybe burned some stumps or something some years ago. But the fact that we found a mini ball and a melted mini ball in with that charcoal tends to make me believe that this could be a fire pit. Oh, look at that, see, streaked in there. All right, well, look at the pinpointer out. Let's see what it says. See if it says it's happy with this hole. Are you happy? Come on buzzing like crazy so I think there's going to be a bunch of targets in this hole let's get the regular um, detector out run that over and see if there's more targets I hear iron so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and just dig this out and see what's in there and you're going to watch we've got about 15 minutes this may seem like it's a little haphazard but I just want to see if it's going to be a fire pit and if it is we can always come back Oh yeah, look, Char look at that charcoal. Can you see it? Look at that. I can't say that's Civil War charcoal, but it's suspicious that there's melted bullets in with it, isn't it? It's not very deep. It's a shallow, shallow thing here. I want to keep digging it out. Show you what I'm looking at. Okay, take a peek at this. Look on the side over here. You can see how dark it is. It's got like streaks of charcoal mixed in. Then it gets like just a, uh, a solid clay color. So whatever's here is not very deep. Doesn't mean it doesn't trend down this way. It could be three deep, three feet deep going this direction. We won't know till we dig that out a little bit more. So let's dig it out a little bit more. What do you say? Let's give it a little poking in here. I guess it'll top that grass off. Look at this. Is. Let me see, you see anything good? All right, same thing, it's just uh, it's kind of the, the ground's getting just as that solid color again. So I'm thinking we're getting, gonna get out of it. It's just very shallow, whatever this is. All right, let's run the machine over it, see what we can hear. There's something going on over here. I don't know if it's in the dirt we dug out or underground. Yeah, so more squeaks right here. Might not have dug it yet though. Ah, no, I just threw it whatever it was. Yeah, I think whatever it was I threw back in the hole. Oh, there it is, look. Looky. 
that's another big old chunk of melted lead. So that is almost telling me, I'm very convinced this is a Civil War fire right here. They had a fire pit right here. 100%, 99.9% on that. You never say a hundred, well, I guess you can say a hundred and I really feel like it's a hundred, but just gonna hedge my bets a little bit. Still working on that fire pit. Most of it's filled in over here, but a little squeaker in here. I suppose it's gonna be melted melted lead, but I thought we'd go ahead and look together just in case it's something really good. <laughs> I think it's tiny. There it is. Okay, we got it in here. Turn that hand. Why is that a button? No. <laughs> I thought that was brass. Probably a little piece of lead in there. That's it right there. No, it isn't. I dropped it. Minuscule. It looks like it right there. Yeah, another piece of lead. Melted lead. All right. I'm going to dig like mad for a few minutes. I'll show you what I find in the roundup, if not before. Poor, poor herb. <laughs> poor herb. There's his base camp right there where his, his stuff is. And looky right here. Can you see it? It's a mini ball. Well, it's not a mini ball, but it's a musket ball. Getting closer. So you got some type of weird creature that's dieted. I did see some raccoon fur down there in the bottom, so maybe that's what it is. Looks like a snake. Yeah, that's probably a little raccoon. I'm gonna take that skull home. It's got the teeth on it, it's nice. Dude, I was ragging on you in my video, I'm sorry. I have to apologize, I was working closer and closer to your bag, I kept finding stuff. I get pictures of me digging bullets with your bag like sitting right there. I get a little bit closer, a little bit closer until I was a foot away. And then I didn't find anything else. It's that A2 Max is what it is. <laughs> what are you hunting with? I got this cheap old oh, pro. Oh, pro. Yeah, pro fine stuff. Hey, you know the cool <laughs> thing though is I found a Civil War fire pit right there full of melted lead, melted no bullets, nice. charcoal. Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. That's why we call it right, Or next to your bag. That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> I almost had to kick it out of the way. But I didn't. It's not that bad. She'll shake the coins from your pocket. Take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets She's promised to keep Hidden in her dirt Or deep in her creek Mother Earth, she ain't saying Exactly what she's saving Where it is or what it might be Mother Earth, you are my lady My big round baby I'll rock you until I go to sleep She don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in between Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby And I'll rock you until I go to sleep She'll shake the coins from your pocket Take your gold chain and your locket Mother Earth has no sympathy She'll take the ring from your hand And bury it in the sand and keep it for eternity Mother Earth, she's got her secrets She's promised to keep Hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek Mother Earth, she ain't saying Exactly what she's saving Where it is or what it might be Mother Earth, you are my lady My big round baby I'll rock you until I go Don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in between.